Hello there, Teacher Noodle here, and in this tutorial, I am going to be explaining how to create a basic operational light auto cannon. The items that you will need, of course, is the light auto cannon, an auto cannon belt feeder, an auto cannon ammo drum, a battery, a push button, and a constant on signal. However, you don't have to use this. You can use a toggle button instead. I'm just going to use this for the video. First thing to do is take the auto cannon and place it so that you have the blue rectangle pointed in whatever direction you want the ammo feeds to take place in. After that, you will need the auto cannon belt feeder. On the side of it, you can see there are arrows. You want to have them pointed in the direction of the auto cannon itself as that is the direction it will feed the ammo. Last, you will want the drum because that will then supply it with the ammo and remember to ensure that you have whatever ammo type that you want. And last, I'm going to create some slight arms to the side just for basic stability. This is the basic components that you need for the gun. And now on to the extras, including a battery, a push button, and the constant on signal. Beyond this is the logic gate. So ensure that your electricity is connected. Connect the constant on signal to the auto feeder so it continuously supplies the gun with whatever ammo you have. And set your trigger to the push button so that anytime you push the button it will start shooting. We can now spawn this in. If you can hear in the background the auto feeder is churning away trying to get as much bullets into there as possible. However, since it's not shooting it's mostly useless. In a real world scenario you might want a toggle button but for this video I just have the constant on signal. After after that, it's just a matter of pressing the push button and it will now shoot any time that you push. This is everything that you need, all of the logic that you need for the most basic system, and if you want this on a turret, I highly recommend using pivots or whatever. I hope this helps, and if you enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.